Hello, Carol Undy here again with another video tutorial, this time on the Partial Applique Tool. I don't use the Partial Applique Tool very often anymore because now we have Advanced Applique, but you should know what it does and how to use it. It's useful if you just want to do a very quick, simple applique where two objects overlap. Um, the Auto Applique Tool um, creates the objects um, creates applique objects very well but if you overlap them then you have the out external satin stitch um, running underneath the fabric of the next object which can be quite ugly particularly well for one thing you get a lump and for another thing um, the color thread may show through your fabric if the the upper object is a lighter fabric than the under object so you have the partial applique tool to counteract this. It's not available immediately. You have to create your applique objects with the auto applique tool first. And so if you haven't watched my auto applique videos, you should do that first before you continue watching this one. But I'm going to just going to quickly create a couple of objects to make a little um, simple um, little tree to demonstrate how the partial applique works. So you need to select your auto applique tool. Now I'm going to set up my object properties first. So I'm going to choose my fabric. I'm going to choose brown for the trunk of the tree. Okay. I'm doing this quickly because I've done all this in the auto applique video. I'm going to have a cutting line. Apply. Okay. And I'm going to choose my color, which is going to be dark brown as well. And I've got my auto applique tool selected, so I just need to digitize my shape. Now remember, the auto applique works with closed objects tools. So just digitize your shape. Hit enter as you're asked. Uh, hit enter, and it will close the object. And if you only want the one object, you can hit enter again to enter your entry point and enter again to enter your exit point and you will have your applique automatically created you'll have a placement line a cutting line a tack down line and the satin outline and now i'll do the the um, upper part of the tree so i'm going to change my color to green and i'm going to set my object properties so that i can change the fabric light green so we can see what's going on OK, apply and OK, and create the top of the tree. I'm just going to overlap them slightly. Enter, 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 and there's the top of my tree. Now, I'm in the digitizing view, and so the top of the tree is covering everything underneath it, which is how it will actually be when you stitch it out. If you go to the artistic view, it shows the stitching from the under object above the fabric for the upper object. This doesn't happen when you're stitching out, so don't rely on that. It's a bit confusing. I don't know why the software does that. But I'm going to leave it on this view so that you can see what happens to the stitching when you apply the partial applique. Now to apply that, you need to select all the parts of the applique that you are uh, going to apply it to. So in this case we're going to select the top and the bottom. The quickest way is to go to edit select all in this case because that's all I've got in my design. But should I have had other objects then I would have selected this way by selecting one object, holding down my control key and selecting the other object. Okay, once all your all the objects in that you want to apply the partial appl applique are selected you can then just go across and your partial applique tool is now available so you can just click on it and as you can see the satin stitch is removed your tack down stitch is still there to hold the lower fabric in place while you do the upper fabric but um, your satin stitch is gone if we go back to if we go out of the artistic view you can see how it will actually look when it's stitched out this will be the bottom area will be hidden underneath the top area. If I just select the top of the tree and move it aside, you can actually see where the satin stitch has been cut off here. 
I'll just undo that. So it's as simple as that. If I'd have had more than one object, let's just um, delete that one and delete this object as well and start again. I'm going to do three objects this time just to show you how it can be done and I'm going to try just creating them all, f all one after the other so um, you don't need to finish one before you digitize the next one. The only thing is if you continue digitizing um, objects they will all have the same object properties in that they'll all have the same fabric. So if I now digitize object number two, enter, 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 it will also have the green fabric and the green stitching. But I could go on then and digitize object number three, enter, 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 and I've got three objects overlapped this time and I can select them all, edit select all and we can see them all selected. I'm just going to go to artistic view so that you can see all the stitching that um, would be underneath the fabric making ugly lumps and shadows and I'm going to apply the partial applique to all three objects and there you can see that you're only going to get satin stitch here and here and around the upper object. So it's as simple as that to apply the partial applique to your appliques to remove the ugly satin stitch underneath the other layers of fabric. I hope you, hope you liked this video. If you did, please subscribe or, and, or comment or rate the video because then I know what you would like me to do next and whether you're enjoying them and I know what to do next. Thank you very much.